So Nintendo just revealed the ad they're going to run during the Super Bowl about the Nintendo Switch, and it's pretty freaking cool. But it's only 30 seconds long. However, Nintendo released a longer version of the trailer on their YouTube channel that shows even more. Uh, and as it turns out, it shows much more because in both trailers, but especially the longer one, there are secrets hidden in the background that tie into Nintendo properties. So I thought we'd do a quick and casual look at all the secrets we were able to find and see if you found any more as well. Okay, so the trailer or the ad opens up with this guy who wakes up and immediately starts playing Zelda. And who can blame him? I mean, I'd be doing the same thing if I had to switch a Breath of the Wild. Now, he seems to be a bit obsessed with Zelda, though, because we can see he has a horse-shaped lamp on his nightstand, and of course, Link rides horses, and right next to that is this weird structure that's made of arrows, and of course, Link fires arrows. And beyond that, he has triangle-shaped stuff everywhere. He has a mirror on his desk shaped like a triangle. He has those uh, triangle-shaped things on his other nightstand. And then he has a picture in the background full of triangles. And then we look at his kitchen, he has triangles on his window and on the shelf right next to him as well. So could all of that be related to the Triforce, maybe? Now, all of those are just kind of vague references, but beyond that, we have a couple of specific ones, or at least one specific one, but I'm pretty sure we have two here. Because if we look at the books on his nightstand, we can see one is literally called, It's Dangerous to Go Alone, which of course is a reference to the classic line from the original Legend of Zelda and has been reused throughout the series since. And beyond that, we can see the author is actually Zell Dash. And if we put that together, that's clearly Zelda right in the name. Huh. Now below that is another book, this one called Faded Memories. Now at first, that seems to have nothing to do with Zelda, but in this case, we're pretty sure it does. Because it seems like memories will play a role in Breath of the Wild, uh, especially with the fact that Link doesn't have any of them when he starts the game. And we've seen hints of the fact that he may regain those memories throughout, including even on a menu. So this guy seems to be a pretty big Zelda fan. And speaking of Zelda, if we go to the Mario Kart scene and look on the shelf to the top left, we can see what might be a toy horse, uh, perhaps in reference to Epona. Now we're not sure about that one, but we figured we'd loop it in there. Now let's go back to the Zelda guy for a second, because in the background we can see a couple of street signs in his house, uh, one for 5th Avenue and the other for Broadway Street. Now both of those are famous streets in New York City, and that makes us wonder if it might be a reference possibly to uh, Mario Odyssey, which has a level, New Donk City, based on New York City. Huh. Okay, next up are these people who are playing Splatoon in a library, and man, I wish libraries were that fun when I was growing up. But beyond that, if we look at the background, we can see what appear to be squid symbols, or the, uh, you know, the squid character plastered all over, including most clearly right there on the bookshelf. So again, why I didn't have libraries like that growing up? <laughs> okay, now next up is this laundromat scene where we have a couple of guys playing Street Fighter. But did you catch what the name of the laundromat actually is? Well, you can see it on the window in the background, but since we're inside, it's of course mirrored. But if we turn it around, we can see it says Spinning Bird, which is actually the name of one of Chun Li's moves, who they're of course fighting in the ad. Finally, the ad wraps up with this party where people are playing 1 2 Switch. But it doesn't seem to be any party, but a Nintendo or Mario themed party, because if we look at the snacks on the table, we have cupcakes and cookies that all seem to be themed to Mario. We have one that has Mario M on it, we have another that has Mario's hat on it, and then yet another in the shape of a Power Star. So these guys seem to be pretty big Nintendo or Mario fans at the least. So there you have it guys, that's all the secrets we were able to find in the Super Bowl ad. But were you able to find any more? Let us know by posting in the comments below. Thanks for watching, of course stay tuned to Game Explained for lots more on the Nintendo Switch and other things gaming as well. Catch you later, bye.